15 significant events during Queen Elizabeth II's reign, it's simple to forget that Queen Elizabeth II wasn't intended to be the monarch at all because she controlled the United Kingdom for seven decades. Elizabeth, the second child of King George V, was born in 1926. Prior to her uncle, King Edward VIII, abdicating the monarchy in 1936 to wed divorced American socialite Wallace Simpson, Elizabeth had little hope of inheriting the kingdom. King George VI passed away, and 25-year-old Elizabeth was asked to take the throne. Beginning a historic reign. A number of events were held in the UK in February 2022 to commemorate the Platinum Jubilee of the Queen, who served the British Commonwealth for 70 years. Queen Elizabeth II demonstrated consistency and tenacity before passing away at 96. She lost her 73-year marriage to Prince Philip in April 2021, when he passed away at the age of 99. The Queen caught the coronavirus in February 2022, which she later claimed made her feel extremely fatigued and exhausted. She swore in her 15th Prime Minister, Liz Truss, two days before she passed away. Coronation of Queen Elizabeth II on June 2, 1953. Elizabeth's coronation was the first to be televised live and took place at Westminster Abbey. Out of the 36 million people that live in the UK, about 27 million watched the ceremony on television, while a further 11 million listened to it on radio. Then, as the Queen and her entourage began their long procession back to Buckingham Palace, about 3 million spectators lined the route. 2. 1965 saw the first state visit to West Germany. The Queen maintained a full schedule of diplomatic obligations during a decade marked by social and political transformation, including a 10-day trip to the Federal Republic of Germany, also known as West Germany, which was the first formal visit there by a British monarch since 1913. Her visit coincided with the 20th anniversary of the conclusion of World War II and served as a symbol of the two nations' reconciliation, as well as a recognition of Germany's comeback as a major player in Europe and the international arena. Welsh mining disaster of 1966 in the South Wales community of Aberfan, an elementary school was buried on October 21, 1966, by an avalanche of mud, water, and coal mine rubble, killing 116 children and 28 adults. Prince Philip landed in Aberfan the day after the disaster, but the Queen postponed her trip for more than a week out of concern that her visit might interfere with the rescue and recovery activities. Elizabeth's old private secretary, Lord Charteris, among others close to her, have claimed that she afterwards regretted her choice to postpone her journey to Aberfan for First walkabout 1970, Elizabeth defied centuries of royal custom when, with Philip and Princess, and on a visit of Australia and New Zealand in 1970, she took a casual stroll to personally greet groups of people rather than waving to them from a safe distance. The first walkabout in Sydney was suggested by Sir William Heseltine, an Australian who served as the Queen's private secretary and was the driving force behind a 1969 TV documentary featuring the royal family, which attracted a global audience of about 40 million people. Walkabouts are now a common practice for British royals both at home and abroad. 5. 1977 Silver Jubilee Ju To formally commemorate her 25th year as monarch, Elizabeth and Philip took the gold state coach from Buckingham Palace to St. Paul's Cathedral on June 7. The Queen reaffirmed her earlier promise to devote her life to service while donning a bright pink dress and a bonnet decorated with 25 fabric bells. She said, although that commitment was made in my salad days when I was green in judgment, I do not regret nor recant one word of it. Six. The 1981 wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer. On July 29, 1981, Prince Charles, Elizabeth's eldest son, wed Lady Diana Spencer in St. Paul's Cathedral in front of an estimated 750 million viewers in 74 nations. 
The young Shai Di, and the heir to the British throne's infatuation, had garnered a lot of media attention, and their extravagant weddings were dubbed the wedding of the century. While Diana won the public's love, her marriage to Charles and her connection to the royal family was fraught from the start. 7. 1986 trip to China Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher's administration decided to hand back control of Hong Kong to China starting on July 1, 1997, in late 1984. Elizabeth visited the Terracotta Warriors in Lebanon, the Great Wall in Beijing, and other locations in 1986, making her the first British queen to travel to the Chinese mainland. For the media, Philip's typical, and occasionally racist, gaffes, like calling Beijing ghastly, and warning a group of British students they would have slitty eyes if they stayed in China for too long, overshadowed the diplomatic significance of the Queen's visit. 8. Annas Horribilis, 1992 As their relationship continued to deteriorate, Charles and Diana decided to divorce in 1992. While and divorced her husband, Mark Phillips, Prince Andrew, the second son of the Queen, and his wife, Sarah Ferguson, also went their separate ways. Late that year, Windsor Castle experienced a fire that resulted in the destruction of almost 100 rooms. 1992 has turned out to be a Annus Horribilis, or a horrific year, Queen Elizabeth said in a speech marking the 40th anniversary of her accession. 9. Reaction to Diana's passing in 1997, after Charles and Diana's divorce in 1996, and particularly after Diana's passing in a car accident in Paris the following summer, there was an increase in public criticism of the royal family. The Queen first stayed at her home at Balmoral, Scotland, and refused to speak to the grieving country, or allow the flag to fly at half-mast over Buckingham Palace. She immediately changed her mind about the flag at the prompting of her advisers, travelled back to London to meet throngs of mourners, and gave a rare televised speech to a country reeling from the loss of the People's Princess, 10. 2000 and Golden Jubilee, when Princess Margaret, the Queen's younger sister, and their mother passed away within a few weeks of one another, the celebration of the Queen's 50th year on the throne was overshadowed. Elizabeth travelled more than 40,000 miles that year as the first British monarch to mark a golden jubilee since Queen Victoria. Her travels included stops in the Caribbean, Australia, New Zealand and Canada. Additionally, she travelled to 70 towns and cities across 50 counties in the United Kingdom, the beginning of Elizabeth's second half-century, as monarch coincided with the beginning of better relations between Britain and its royal family than during the turbulent 1990s. In 2005, the majority of the British public supported Charles' marriage to his longtime girlfriend, Camilla Parker Bowles. 11. 2011 trip to the Republic of Ireland Elizabeth and Philip travelled to the Republic of Ireland in May 2011 at President Mary McAleese's invitation. The Queen had frequented Northern Ireland during her reign, but this was the first visit by a British monarch to the Republic of Ireland in a century. It was generally hailed as the start of a new age of friendship during Elizabeth's visit, during which she conveyed her sincere thoughts and great concern for the victims of the tumultuous Anglo-Irish past. 12. Prince George was born in 2013, the first child of Prince William and the former Kate Middleton, who wed in 2011, Prince George Alexander Louis of Cambridge, was received by the Queen in July 2013. George is regarded as likely to one day become King because he is second in line of succession after his father. Three generations of direct heirs to the British monarchy were present at the same time for the first time since Queen Victoria's reign with his birth, 13. Wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in 2018 the wedding of Prince Harry to Meghan Markle, a divorced, multiracial American actress, may have been the most emblematic event of the modernizing monarchy during Elizabeth's reign. The couple's relationship with the British media and the rest of the royal family grew more contentious after their marriage, 
despite the Queen apparently giving her rapid assent to the union. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex declared in 2020 that they were resigning from their position as senior royals. Later, they relocated to Southern California, Markle's home state. Their daughter Lilibet was born in 2021, and their son Archie was born in 2019, 14. Death of Prince Philip in 2021. Elizabeth's 73-year marriage to Prince Philip ended on April 9, 2021, when he passed away at the age of 99. The longest-running romance in British royal history started soon before World War II, when Princess Elizabeth, then Princess Elizabeth's family's third cousin, was visiting the Britannia Royal Naval College in Dartmouth, where 18-year-old Prince Philip of Greece was studying. Following the couple's Westminster Abbey wedding on November 14, 1947, King George VI appointed Philip as Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Philip assisted his wife in carrying out her royal responsibilities for more than 50 years while also assuming a demanding load of tasks of his own. The funeral for Philip took place on April 17, 2021. Just 30 visitors were permitted to attend due to coronavirus limitations. Many saw the Queen's solitude and anguish in the photos of her seated alone in St. George's Chapel, 15. Gold Jubilee 2022, England will start a year-long commemoration of Queen Elizabeth II's 70 years as monarch in February 2022. A military parade honouring the 96-year-old King, whose birthday was on April 21, was held on June 2 and featured 1,400 soldiers wearing bearskin hats musicians, and 240 horses. There was also a flyover by the Royal Air Force and an 82-gun salute. More than 30 of Elizabeth's favorite dog breed, Corgis, were even marching in a procession in one area of London. Corgis are a short-legged breed, four generations of the Queen's heirs, including her eldest son Prince Charles, his eldest son Prince William and William's eldest son Prince George, joined her on the balcony of Buckingham Palace as she observed the festivities. Despite her advanced age and recent COVID-19 infection, the Queen, who was decked out in pearls and a light blue dress, coat, and cap, smiled widely. Thank you for watching till the end. Please remember you will find more videos in the description relating to the subject. Also, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to see more interesting videos, goodbye.